So in this video, I'm going to be simplifying expressions using my order of operations, multiplication, combining like terms. However, I'm going to be simplifying expressions that have three or more factor terms. And so we want to be careful that we are multiplying enough, but not multiplying too much. Um, one quick example I'm going to do that's not on the page, it's just a strictly numeric example to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. If you had, let's say, 3 times 4 times 5, it's just something simple numeric. And let's say you didn't have a calculator with you for whatever reason. What you want to do is multiply 2 out of these 3 terms together first. Now, because it's multiplication, what you multiply together won't matter. But you just want to multiply 2 together, then take that answer and multiply times the third number. Um, so let's say we did 3 times 4. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. Then I would take that answer times 5, and I would get a 60. Okay? So that idea of multiplying 2 things together first, then taking that answer and multiplying it with anything else, that's what we're going to apply here. So let's go ahead and jump into the examples here. So for the first example, we have 3 times x plus 4 times 2x minus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and just start working my way left to right, and I'm going to take this factor term times this factor term. And for right now, I'm going to ignore 2x minus 1. So in order to multiply these first two pieces together, I am going to distribute. Okay, So we're going to have 3x plus 3 times 4 is 12. Now, I still need to take this answer times this other factor. So I'm actually going to leave the parentheses around this one to make sure that I remember I still need to multiply. Now, methods to multiply when you're dealing with a binomial times a binomial, there is a bunch of them. Uh, for this particular problem, I'll go ahead and just do a more distributive property. So I'm going to take 3x times 2x, so that's 6x squared, 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x, 12 times 2x is going to be positive 24x, and 12 times negative 1 is negative 12. Okay, so all the parentheses are gone because I've completed the multiplication part, but I still need to simplify, and so I'm going to look for like terms. Uh, in this particular problem, negative 3x and 24x both share the same variable, x, and that x is raised to the exact same power. In this case, it's a power of 1. So 6x squared plus 21x minus 12 is my final simplified answer for problem, number, uh, par problem part A. All right, I'm going to go ahead and slide over to example 2, or part B, I guess. These aren't numbered. Uh, part B, you might think, well, I've only got two terms in this problem. And unfortunately, that means that you maybe didn't notice that power of 2. So order of operation tells me I have to do powers first before I can do any kind of multiplication. And so in this case, um, I want to understand what it means to raise x plus 5 to the second power. Well, I'm going to take x plus 5, and I'm going to multiply it times itself. So now part B looks just like part A. I'm going to take two of my terms, two of my factors here. In this case, I'm going to do negative 2x, and I'm going to multiply it with x plus 5. Okay, so distributive property here, negative 2x times x would be negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times 5 would be negative 10x. But remember, this uh, pair of factors here, I'm sorry, this pair of terms, still needs to get multiplied times the other x plus 5. Okay. Now, there is another way to do multiplication. There's lots of ways to do multiplication. And I'm going to show a different method here. Uh, so you just have a couple of options. So one other way to do this is basically to make a multiplication box. And across the top, you're going to write one of your 
factors, so negative 2x squared minus 10x. And then across the side here, you would multiply, uh, show the other pieces, in this case, x plus 5. And what you're going to do is literally multiply x times negative 2x squared. That will fill in this box. Then you would do x times negative 10x. That will fill in this one. And do the same thing for the bottom two. Okay? So let's see, negative 2x cubed, negative 10x squared, negative 10x squared, and negative 50x. Now, I still want to look for like terms. So this first term has an x cubed in it. There's nothing else that has an x cubed. Uh, this term right here has x squared in it. This term also has x squared. So we know that this term is like to this term, so we'll be able to combine those. And this term in the lower right corner here just has x attached to it, so there's nothing else that only has an x with a power of 1. So if we go to write the answer here, we would have negative 2x cubed minus 20x squared minus 50x. Whoops, hold on a second. There's a 0 and 50. All right, so minus 50x. All right, so that takes care of part B when you have something squared. Be careful that you do the power first. Uh, in this case, we just or I just rewrote it as a multiplication problem, which that works fine, but you've got to do this part before you do anything with distributing the negative 2x. All right, let's roll on down to part C here. Okay, Part C has three different uh, factor terms here, x minus 1, 3x plus 4, and 3 minus x. You want to just multiply two of them together at a time. So I'm going to work left to right here, and I'm going to take x minus 1 times 3x plus 4. And for this problem, I'll do distributive property. So x times 3x is 3x squared. x times 4 is positive 4x. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x, and negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Now, this whole thing still needs to get multiplied by 3 minus x. So that looks like a lot of fun. Um, what I am going to do is still look and see if I have any like terms in this first set of parentheses, and I do. I've got positive 4x, which is like to negative 3x. So I can combine those. So 3x squared plus x minus 4 times 3 minus x. Okay. Now it becomes a little bit trickier because we have a trinomial here times a binomial. So we've got to be really careful that we make sure we multiply with everything. Okay. So I'm going to take this 3x squared and I am going to distribute it to that 3 and that negative x. So 3x squared times 3 is 9x squared. 3x squared times negative x is negative 3x cubed. Okay, and now that 3x squared is done. So I'm going to move on and I'm going to do the same idea here with positive x. I'm going to distribute that times 3 and times negative x. So let's see, x times 3 is positive 3x. Positive x times negative x would be negative x squared. And that x is now done. But we're not yet done because we still need to distribute this 4. And technically it's a negative 4, so make sure you're paying attention to signs. So let's see, negative 4 times 3 and then negative 4 times negative x. So let's see what we get here. We have negative 12 and then positive 4x. Okay, a lot of work there, but your multiplication is now officially done. What's not done is I want to look for like terms. So I've got 9x squared, which is like to negative x squared. I have positive 3x which is like to positive 4x. 
And then the x cubed, x to the third power here, has nothing. It's like 2. And this negative 12 has no variable, so it's not liked anything. I'm going to go ahead and write my answer out then. I put it in what's called descending order. So 3x cubed. So I'm going to start with my highest power of x. Now I've got 9x squared minus x squared. So it's going to be plus 8x squared. Uh, positive 3x plus 4x would be plus 7x, and then the constant here of negative 12 at the end. So a lot of work there, right? A lot of multiplication. Make sure you're combining your like terms as you go, and make sure that you end up with an answer that only uh, you've combined all of the possible like terms. So we've got x cubed, no other x cubes, x squared, no other x squared, you just got a single x, so x to the first, nothing else like to that one, and that constant at the end. All right, last question here is going to be part D. And part D is kind of a combination of what we did in part B and then what we did in part uh, C. So powers first, we have a square here. Not a huge fan of that because it's kind of going to get it in my way. So I want to rewrite 2x uh, plus 3 squared is 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3, and then the x minus 4 will just stay x minus 4. All right, lots of multiplication going on this one. I'm going to show you distributive property for the first one, and I'm just going to go straight in order. So from, I'm going to do 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 first. So 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times 3 positive 6x, 3 times 2x is positive 6x, and 3 times 3 is positive 9. But we still have to take that whole thing and multiply it times x minus 4. Looking at possible like terms here, I've got positive 6x, positive 6x. Those are absolutely like to each other. So 4x squared plus 12x plus 9, and then we've got to do x minus 4. Now, in one of the earlier problems, I think part B, I showed you how you could do a box to multiply it. I'm going to show you that one as well for this one. Um, so it won't matter how you set it up, but in this case, because this um, first factor here is three terms, I'm going to split that up across the top here. So 4x squared plus 12x and then plus 9. So I'm going to have three columns this way. And then I've got x minus 4. So I'll do x and then negative 4 is its own piece. I'll have two rows this way. So we're going to have to multiply to fill in every one of those boxes. Um, so this is kind of nice when you're doing this box method that you make sure you don't miss something that you're supposed to multiply. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take x times each of these top three terms. So it's going to be 4x cubed plus 12x squared plus 9x. And then for the bottom row, okay, I'm going to take negative 4 times each of these three terms. So negative 4 times 4x squared would be negative 16x squared. You've got negative 4 times 12, which would be negative 48x. And negative 4 times 9 is negative 36. Now, I've filled in all the boxes, so I know I've done all of the multiplication, but I have not yet looked for like terms. So we've got x cubed, but no other x cubed. We have x squared, another x squared right here. So this term and this term we will eventually combine get to that in a minute. Um, I have a single x here. I have a single x here. So these two terms would combine. And then the negative 36 at the end is just, I'm saying just, but it's a constant. So we can't combine anything with that. So final answer here, we've got 4x cubed. Now if I take positive 12x squared, but I subtract 16x squared, negative 4x squared, then I've got 9x minus 48x, so 
so negative 39x and then negative 36. All right, so that is the last example in this set. Um, be careful that you don't do things out of order. So you still need to make sure you're doing your powers first, then your multiplication, then you do any combining with like terms by addition or subtraction.